Hey, welcome to Rev and Rip Sports Collections. This is a box that I have been anxious of waiting to receive. It is 1981 Fleer Baseball, 17 training, trading cards in every pack, 38 packs in the box. Unfortunately, these packs do have uh, bubble gum in them. This is uh, Fleer. And then later, of course, uh, Topps um, won that battle. And fortunately for Fleer, that way they did not put gum in any more of their boxes after that to ruin their cards. And Topps then um, locked in the bubble gum and Fleer moved on to uh, stickers. And uh, yeah, so let's, uh, I'll show you how this box is packed, so 38 packs again. We've got, uh, we'll go with the two middle packs first. I'm so anxious to get into these. Uh, we're looking for, uh, you know, there's multiple errors in uh, in this box in this year. Uh, some Reggie Jackson, uh, you've got Mr. Baseball, outfield DH, uh, Ricky Henderson, outfield stolen bases, uh, those four cards, you know, you're, you're $200 plus as a PSA 10. You got Kurt Gibson rookie card coming in about ballpark 175, 175. Harold Baines rookie, 125. Uh, you have a triple threat card that has Pete Rose in his Phillies. I believe uh, Schmidt is with him and another player. Uh, if it does not have the number on the back, it's a $100 card as a 10. With the number, it's a $30, $30 card as a 10. Uh, Nolan Ryan, beautiful card in, in this set. It uh, comes in at, at $100. George Brett, both of his cards come in at uh, $75 uh, each. It's a good looking piece of gum there. That is a 10. That is still bendable. Holy cow. That is not like the tops. What is this gum made out of? That is, but it still smells like cardboard. Yeah, but that is insane that that gum is still moist. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Uh, oh, but hey, at least it's not uh, sticking to the card. Uh, the uh, gentleman that uh, I purchased this box from uh, did a very good job maintaining the uh, air quality in the room to keep the uh, the gum moist. Kudos to you, sir. Uh, beautiful cards here. Um, yeah, I am so anxious to uh, go through these. Bob Walk. And I'll, I will be going through these slow. It's not every day. You know, somebody cracks open an 81 Fleer baseball uh, box. Got the Jim Walford. I hope you all enjoy it. And if you would, please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos, the 82 Tops. We've got baseball. We've got football. 83 Tops uh, football box break in there. Uh, even the, uh, you know, more popular cards at the time, you know, in the 80s, the 90s. Look, you know, the 88, 89, 90, 91. Things like that. Uh, there's still, you know, high dollar cards in there, and I hope, you know, I keep things entertaining. Here's uh, Cesar Cedeno, Stan Poppy. Hey there, Poppy. Love it whenever I hear Poppy. Dave Palmer. These cards, they, they feel good, man. They are. Claudel Washington. It's a Bake McBride giving his uh, best Dave Parker uh, impersonation doppelganger there. Mike Ivy. There's going to be some cards in here that I have never seen before. You know, we've always seen the, uh, you know, more notable ones. You also have a, uh, let's see, Danny Ainge rookie card in this. Gary Gray. It's a uh, very creative on his name. It's a, uh, Interesting. There's old Tippy Martinez. We're used to Tippy. Tony LaRusa coming in as the White Sox manager. Rick Langford. Hal McCray. Double threat. You see how double threat? 
We're here. It's Nino Espinosa is a pitcher. Randy Moffitt and Joe Sambito, pitcher for the Astros. Got to love the unis, the uniforms, the style of the card. I mean, it's just, I love them. There's what the backs of them look like. These are very clean cards. Very pleased with this. The, the box does have a little ding on the uh, side of it, but hopefully, you know, it doesn't affect the product that's inside. I see this card here is a little, little roughed up there. Richie Cleveland. You got uh, Steve Henderson. There's a Pete Rose. Good looking Pete Rose card there. A little off center, left to right, and top to bottom. But uh, yeah, that's uh, number one in the set, Pete Rose. That's awesome. That's, that's nice. There's a little bend in these cards, but the, these two packs here were you know, vertical, where the others are horizontal, so the other ones should lay a little more flat compared to these. It's Tommy Lasorda in his younger days. And Zillow, Craig Reynolds, Jerry Augustine with the infamous early 80s hair coming out of the 70s. Luis Tiant, I have not heard of Luis Tiant before. Mike Willis with the Blue Jays. Craig Nettles. Greg Pryor, Reggie Cleveland. All right. Pete Rose up there. This is our first horizontal pack. There's another little nip it there on that card. See a little slight little gum abrasion on that card. Charlie Lee Brandt took the gum force. Julio Cruz, Ken Wrights, Tony Bernazard, Bernazard, Rich Roden. Steve Murrah, there's a junior Kennedy. I'm trying to, I got a little music playing in the background here in a second. As soon as it gets off the commercial, just make up for a little background noise. Ron, Juan, I said Ron, Juan Beniquez. So Rich Murray, there's Gary Gray again. All right, repeat offenders. Repeat offenders here. We are going to roll through these. Dupes, duplicates, I call them dupes. Duping us out of other cards. All right. I'll leave what's on the pack here. On the pack. Of course. Giant three inch photo button, only one dollar each. Pick your favorite star, you got Op options. Reggie Jackson, I'm not going to read through all of them, just notable. Schmidt, Winfield, Brett, Keith Hernandez, Johnny Bench, Pete Rose, Jim Palmer. It's cool. Again, we got 17 trading cards in these versus the 15 typically found in a pack in this era. Lou Pinella again. Jim Cat. Remember him from the back in the day. Andre Dawson. Larry Harlow. Leon Durham. Bob Horner. And Tom, I am not attempting that last name. Piorsiak, maybe. Tom Piorsiak. Who do we have on the front of this gum? Oh, God, 
bag going up. We got Dale Murphy on here taking the, the brunt of the gum for us. Not yet. I see. You can see a slight little on the gum. A young Dale Murphy. Very young. It's his uh, fourth, fifth year. Cool card. Doug Bear. Most hits National League is Steve Garvey coming in looking strong on the centering there. It's nice. Steve Garvey. John Littlefield. Kurt Becklova. Luis Salazar. Daryl Jackson. A lot of players here I recognize from opening older packs and going through some set breaks. And then some that I do not recognize. Maybe they only have one or two years in the league. That was a very well cut pack there. I like that Steve Garvey. We don't have Ron Hasey here on the front in the it's either spring, spring weather or fall weather, probably fall. Rich Dower, Richard Wortham, Tony Armas, the nice bushy hair, Tim Corcoran, Rick Dempsey, Garth Eorg, there is a Paul Molitor. Little top to bottom there on that. Paul Molitor's uh, fourth year, but good looking, good looking card. Rick Cerrone, Jose Morales, Steve Braun, Larry Sorensen, Ron Woodry, John Castino, and Jen Essayan. And I'm really enjoying these cards. These are nice. I love how they're. The names are very legible, beautiful photos. They got the baseball with the cursive team name in the corner. It's a very easy to read. There's old Rick Ruschel. Danny Darwin. Jesse Jefferson. There's a madly cut Robin Yount. I have to say, this is one of my favorite photos of Robin Yount here. He typically looks like a hitchhiker. No offense to hitchhikers, but he typically looks like a hitchhiker in his cards. And another badly cut outfield DH Reggie Jackson. See, look at this. There's his batting average. There's the card number. Now we're looking for the Mr. Baseball card of Reggie Jackson that uh, has the number 79 in it, but a uh, little error mistake on behalf of Fleer. Grant Jackson, Leon Roberts, Bob Forsh, Larry Parrish, Terry Kennedy, it's a very well-centered card, I have to say. I'll set that off to the side. We are looking for a uh, Fernando Valenzuela as well here. That would be his rookie card. Frank Tavares. Brian Doyle, Charlie Moore, Bombo Rivera, hey, George Brett on the off center. Hmm. Be a $75 card if it were centered. Frank Pastore, Fredo Griffin, Gary Lucas, Ted Cox, Tony Scott. Dave McKay and Mario Soto. Mario Soto. He's a good player there for the Reds. Long time. We've got Dick Drago on the back here. 
Champ Summers, outfield and DH. He looks like a manager. Fred Lynn. John Lowenstein. We got Ricky Henderson. Most stolen bases, American League. If that was center. That'd be a $260 card. Beautiful card still. Alan Trammell. Checklist. As if y'all didn't know that. Jim Dwyer. Danny Ainge, rookie. Put old Danny up here. Let's, uh, let's grab Ricky. Let's put Ricky up here. Let's fill some slots. Dick Drago. Mm-hmm. This is awesome. We're just on our uh, second row here, wrapping up our second row. Jeff Reardon. Jeff Reardon. This is uh, Mets Mets, third year. Lonnie Smith. Phil Gardner. Sheldon Burnside, never heard of him. Doug Flynn. Dennis Lamp. I love lamps. Looks uh, very well centered there. Del Barra, Jim Anderson, George Brett. Slightly left to right. We'll throw this card up here for George. Lee Lacey, Dan Meyer, Kenna Burkfell. There's that card that everybody loves to get. Starting our third row here. Rafael Ramirez. Bruce Benedict, Reggie Smith. Cards very well centered there. Terry Landrum. Eric Soderholm. Butch Weingard. Weinegar. Tom Underwood again. Jorge Orta and Rafael Ramirez. y'all would please uh, hit the like and the subscription if y'all haven't already subscribed please do i uh, try to try to get some uh, boxes that typically are not broken or ripped open on uh pete vukovic vukovic um, and try to bring some different content mike schmidt off center, but uh, it's a cool card. Cool card. And followed up with the Mike Schmidt. Look at that. Number five, 259. Number five, 259. You see that? It's one of these is an error. So you got a Mike Schmidt here. And then they are both. I got to do my research here. Number five, 259, Philly's third base. There's, too bad those are not centered, but uh, that is sweet, sweet. Terry Crawley, get back in line here. Ozzie Smith, it's a cool card of Ozzie. Off center, but uh, nice to have. Dave Concepcion. He looks a little light there on that car. There's old Joe Necro. 
I wonder if we'll see Phil here in a little bit. Look how we get 17 cards per pack. The odds are in our favor. 38 packs and 17 per pack. Jack Morris, Dwight Evans, Tom Matlack, and the flippy floppy these around. So Bobby Bonds, Barry's dad, Biff, Pokeroba, Jay Johnstone, there's, there's old Steve Carlton. Flash in the mustache. Pitcher of the year. I bet it was, I'm going to say this, I bet it was fun. Fun to play baseball in the 80s. I bet it was fun in the major leagues. Jamie Quirk. Rick Peters, there's old Dennis Eckersley. He's cut so bad, he's almost off of the card. There, we're starting to get lined back out here. Need to shift a little bit more to get these things centered. Old Vida Blue, Joe Young Blood, Ron Reed, Mario Guerrero, and Tom Brookins. They're either left to right or they're top to bottom. That gone. That, that guy in there took a little bit of his leg off. Old Dave Cash. Ray Knight. Golden Glove. Doug DeSanchez. Not sure. Gary Maddox. Tim Blackwell. I feel like we're going to get somebody good here. Randy Jones. Maybe a Fernandez here. Steve Kemp, Alan Ripley, Chet Lemon, Rob Picciolo, Dave Rosema, Carl Yastrzemski again, like the Dennis Eckersley, Frank Lacorda. I really want that Nolan Ryan card. Keep that baby centered. It's only $100, but I really love Nolan Ryan. Bill Lee, Tom Lasorda again. There's Paul Montmeyer. That's that's getting a little, little better centered. Still a little off. Get coming around. Coming around. Kim Forsh, Kim Forsh, Don Robinson, there's a Raleigh Fingers, the Padres, love the throwback, but they weren't, <laughs> Fernando Valenzuela rookie, off center, but uh, put him up there, I'd like to get that centered. Send that in to PSA. Tom Underwood, Glenn Adams. Got him again. All right, making our way through this box. Appreciate the patience here. See Carlton, that's the card that comes after the Mike Schmidt, number six, Schmidt being five. Hey, there we go. Ricky Henderson, most stolen bases. That's our second one of those. Cut the same way. Alan Trammell, again. 
Come on, give us somebody else good here. Yep, babe. I thought I saw the Astros. You know what I was thinking. Bruce Bocci again. Ivan De Jesus. There's old good looking Dave Parker. And here is Lefty the Golden Arm, Steve Carlton. Last time it said Pitcher of the Year. Picture of the Year, different picture. Picture of the Year. The color of that gum is freaking me out. It's so pink. Mark Corey. Dan Petrie. Rick Burleson. Sam Mejas. Vada Blue again. Joe Youngblood. Somebody's in here. Nope. Nope. We've had that pack before. We've had a duplicate packs of notable players. Doug Rowell. Doug Flynn. Rick Ruschel again. We've seen this one before. Dennis Worth. Danny Darwin. There's Robin Yelp sliding off that card. Cut so bad. Dave Roberts, Jim Cat. These are uh, Andre Dawson. Poor Andre. Leon Dern. Come on. Come on. That's a. Yeah. Looking at the centering, best that I can, I will go back through all of these base cards and try and grab some that. Are centered. Check the pop count on them. See if there's anything we can do with them. Bucky Dent, Randy Neiman, Bump Wheels, Bump Wheels, Damaso Garcia, Gorman Thomas, it's Keith Hernandez. Is that Keith's rookie? No, that's Keith. Keith's rookie is like 76 or something. Don Sutton, badly miscut. There's uh, uh, Mike Tyson, the baseball player. Bill Russell and John Sturms. Mm. Mm. Sorry, Dennis. Sorry, Dennis. Good thing you were top to bottom. Otherwise, I'd feel even worse. Bobby Gritch. Rudy Law. Some dupes here. Fred Lynn. Come on, let's get a few. Let's get some notables here. Hey, hey, he's off center, but he looks good, don't he? Looks good. Madly off center, but uh, I ain't let you on there. There you go, Mr. Gold Ryan. I thought it was a freak out. Yowzer. I got Nolan's. Yikes. Yikes. Nolan's second year card in the PSA right now. I just received it today. Hoping to get at least get a seven out of it. That's what I'm hoping. Looks good for that year. Golden Glove. There's Golden Glove. Doug DeCenses. See, they got it flip-flopped. Instead of his name up here, like everybody else's, that's, uh, it's pretty well centered too. We'll slide that off to the side to check on that one. Oh, hello, Mr. Ozzy Smith again. We go ahead and slap you up here over top of Danny A. Danny chose basketball, anyways. 
All right, let's start getting some cards centered. Centered. Jeff Twitty, Twitty Bird, Dave Edler. Ah, that's a better looking Dell Murphy card. It's off center, but he you don't have gum on him. Come on. Give us give us Reggie here. Give us a good Reggie. Y'all coming into center. Need to reward us, right? Reward us. Let's get them Ricky Hendersons. Reggie Jacksons. I like to have a Kurt Gibson rookie snapped up there on the podium. Yo, this ain't going to be good for this guy. Oh, jeez. Brutal. Earl Weaver. He definitely took one for the team there. Lou Whitaker. I have not seen this pack, so maybe we'll get something different out of it. Hey, Petey, Mr. Pete Rose, Charlie Hustle. Got, that's the second one of him. Jim Dwyer, Danny Ainge again. A little more centered there on Danny. Dick Drago again. I'm enjoying what we're pulling. I just want some things to be a little better line. Uh, mm. oh, that's bad. Who's that? Doesn't look familiar. Definitely. Oh, Rick Miller. Rick, I wonder what that's worth. Looks like he's got a floppy, a floppy tongue. <laughs> oh, jeez. Slap me sideways here. Pat Corrales looking like Jose Canseco's a father here. And the Aussies. Man, what a resemblance, resemblance there. Otto Velez. Manny Mopta. Don Baylor. There's old Bobby Bonds again. Steve Carlton. Again, pitcher of the year for Steve. Second time around in that one. Gun fell off of that one. Here's Steve Garvey again. Let's see if this one's not as center. Well, yeah, looks good. Just uh, see if we got any residue on. A little bit there. See a little. Not bad. Make sure I don't send that one in. Julio Cruz. Kruko. We're getting a whole stack of 81 Fleer here. Piled up. Oh, daggummit. Bad. Nab it. This didn't stick like the ton. I'm, I'm not feeling anything here. I'm not seeing anything either. Oh, there. Right there, we got a little, little line. Maybe a little finger oil can work that out. I believe so. A little moisture. Look at that. Look at that. Getting better, huh? A little finger moisture. Sorry. The word moisture scares you. Remember that Tommy Boy movie? 
All right, there's old Reggie. Exactly like the other one. We're looking for that, uh, what number is, what's this? Number 79 on that. We're looking for the Mr. Baseball with that on it. Dave Steeb, Cecil Cooper. All right, it's Keith Hernandez. Uh, Don Sutton again. Mike Tyson, the baseball player. Bill Russell, the baseball player. All right, getting down here to the nitty gritty, about 10, 11 packs to go. I have not seen this card before. Maybe that's a good sign, Mr. Jim Rooker. I've seen Jeff Reardon before. Frank Pastore, Alfredo Griffin. There we go, Mario Soto again. All right. Let's see how many we got. We got uh, four here. Call that five. Nine. We've got nine. And now we have an empty box. Nine packs. That's a weird. It's like a ghost one there. Hmm. Like a ghost videos. A little floaty. That is perfectly round. Was that a softball? <laughs> Too big to be a baseball. Hector Cruz. I have not seen this pack, so I'm anxious to get something cool out of here. And there's nothing cool other than that little round blue circle. I don't know what those are called in the ghost books, ghost videos. Let's see, B Britt Burns, Billy Travers, Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, prerogative. George Foster, looking very happy, excited to play baseball. Bob Davis, is Mr. Don Money himself. Don Money Man, Dan Quisenberry, and Billy Martin. Boy, Billy Martin looks good there in 81. All right. Let's send off for our favorite button. <coughs> I'm going to go with Nolan Ryan. Doc Medic, Dave Steed. Oh, boy. Saw that Cooper again. Here's old Ferguson Jenkins. Been around for a long time. Victor Cruz. All right. Ah, Kurt Gibson. Kurt Gibson. Kurt there. Jerry Reese, loose. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to remove Kent Tacove. I feel like he's about to have a floppy tongue. Give him a little bit of justice there. Burt Blylevin. Ed Farmer. All right, five packs to go. This is number five. Number five. 
And Bobby Brown, different. I believe that's a different variation to Mr. Prerogative. There's George Foster again, looking just as happy. Willie Randolph. Willie's cards usually always come out pretty centered. Strange. Here is Mr. Baseball with number 79. That is not centered. If it was, that would be a $300 card. But we will slap Mr. Baseball out there, and I'm happy to get that card. On say, Baby Lopez, Mike Sosha, Pierce. So you'll be Mike Sosha's rookie card, possibly. There's a Cleveland on the back again. Looks like a, a duplicate. I don't remember Dave Collins. Don't remember him. Or Dave Heverlow, as I would remember those handlebars. This is a new pack that we have not been in yet. Mr. Tom Seaver. Looks good in the Reds uniform. Jim Slayton, Craig. Now we have seen some of these before, but the first half of the pack was was new. We got three packs remaining. Let's get another. Let's get another Ricky Henderson. Let's get that Harold Baines rookie. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that triple threat to see if there's a number on the back. It's not the most expensive cards, but always cool to get and look at. Tom Hume, this is a new, new card. Some of them, look how young Gary Carter is there. Young Gary Carter. Mike Prawley, he'd probably do that. Mike Davis, looking young. Hey, what do we say? Let's go through these. Buddy Bell, third baseman, like old buddy. Let's see if there's a number on this. If not, it would be a $30 card as a 10. Uh, if there, obviously it's not a 10, but uh, Schmidt, Rose, and Bawa. And of course, there is not a number up here. So if this were meant, it'd be about a hundred bucks. Instead, it's probably about $5. But cool to have and educate ourselves on these cards. It's nice. I enjoy that. Okay. A fun education. Tony Armas. We are this is our next to the last pack here. If y'all have enjoyed this video and if you have recommendations on a box that you'd like for me to uh, to get to crack open, I don't know what that. It's not on the card. That was weird. It's weird. Huh. Interesting. Um, yeah. If you have an idea of a uh, type of box, cards, baseball, football, basketball that you would like for me to to get, we crack open just. You know, send me comments. I will do my best. Obviously, I'm not going to grab a $5,000 box of cards. The likelihood of, of finding one and then making your value out of them would be highly unlikely. But please reach out. Let me know. We have seen Dwight Evans before. Joe Simpson, uh, I like the net where he's behind the batting cage net. Joe Ferguson looking a little bit like Pete Rose there in the face. Manny Trio, Steve Yeager, 
and Pete Falcone. All right. Well, we got a, a lot of stock here, stocks. You know, uh, our notable cards, honestly, none of them are centered. But uh, we got a couple of Mike Schmitz here. Got a uh, Fernando Valenzuela rookie. And a George Brett. That's probably the closest card to center we have as, as far as notable players. Here we've got Mr. Baseball, Reggie Jackson, with the wrong number on the back. We got Kurt Gibson here. That is a pretty well centered card. A little bit left to right, but. Uh, you know, $175 card if it was uh, very well centered. Interesting. We got Ozzy Smith. Shortstop for the Padres before he was a Cardinal. Danny Ainge. Rookie card with the Blue Jays. You got uh, Nolan Ryan. Young Nolan. Got Pete Rose here. Very well made cards though. Just miscut. Just badly cut. And we got dual Ricky Hendersons. Would like to have gotten the one where he's out in the outfield. If these were centered, they'd be 260 apiece. And we'll just breeze through these that I pulled out. There's that triple threat with no number on it. Just some Hall of Famers and rookie cards. Soon to be Hall of Famers, hopefully. Too bad that one's not top to bottom. That'd be Steve Garvey. He's close to being centered. Pull that out because that one does look pretty well. It's a little top to bottom, but Golden Glove, accuracy. See repeat offenders here. A little throwback to memory lane. That Paul Molitor looks a little looks real good. A little left to right, but I'll go back through check pop count on the ones that I feel were. Very well centered as far as the base cards or other cards that I haven't pulled out. That Terry Kennedy looks, that looks good. That is probably the most center card in this deck. I'll check the pop count on Terry. And he's a notable player too. Been around for a long time. It's Steve Garvey. That one is, that one's centered. Slide old Steve Garvey over there. Check the pop count on him. But, uh, hey, please, Rev and Rip Sports Collections, please uh, remember, like, subscribe, check out some of my other videos that I have posted. Uh, good content, uh, you know, good information, and appreciate the time that you spent here today.